And for more reaction, let's bring in Democratic Nevada Congresswoman and member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, Dina Titus. She is also a member of the House Homeland Security and Foreign Affairs Committees. Congresswoman, thank you very much for being here today. Um, I, I would like to first get your thoughts on the attack on the Capitol officers yesterday and also further what you believe needs to happen in terms of fencing and barriers at the Capitol. Well, it's heartbreaking to lose one of our police officers. They are such heroes, and now we are praying for the other one who is left in the hospital. Uh, the, these people are so brave, and they have so much to do with so little. They protect the members, they protect the building, they protect the staff and the press, and they have to protect themselves. So when we come back, we've got to take a hard look at what kind of resources we need, what kind of training we need. Do we need to hire additional members, as has been recommended? The worst thing that can happen is for this to become a political or partisan issue as opposed to a public safety concern. And Congresswoman, I'd like to move on to this infrastructure bill. The Biden-Harris administration has put forward this $2.25 trillion spending package. And I'd, why don't we take a look at some of what is listed in the details here. We have $400 billion for affordable home or community-based care for elderly and people with disabilities, $50 billion for National Science Foundation, $46 billion in federal buying power for green energy initiatives, $35 billion to develop climate solutions, and and 30 billion to spur innovation in rural areas. How does this fall under the definition of infrastructure in your mind? Well, infrastructure is no longer just roads and bridges. That's certainly a big part of it. And we need to improve on those areas and expand access uh, in order to be competitive. You've got China moving forward into the 21st century very robustly, and we need to catch up. Infrastructure also includes housing or water pipes that are filled with lead and are dangerous to population. All of these programs that create jobs will build additional infrastructure. Uh, you didn't mention the expansion of the internet. The internet is as essential today as electricity was when it first was invented. So for us to be competitive, it, it, competitive internationally, we've got to uh, define infrastructure in broad, uh, bold terms. But if you include things also like we have um, for community colleges, you have 12 billion for community colleges, you have 25 billion to upgrade childcare facilities. If it's no longer just roads, roads and bridges, then why call it an infrastructure package at all? When some of this could clearly fit into an education package, it could fit into anything else. If it sounds like everything could be considered infrastructure. Well, some people think this bill is not broad enough. Uh, and some of the economists say, if you don't go big, you might as well go home. And that includes some economists who work for Donald Trump. I think you have to be bold or it won't make a difference. Remember, this shouldn't be partisan. That committee that I serve on has been one of the least partisan in Congress. Uh, Abraham Lincoln did the Transcontinental Railroad. Eisenhower did the highways. President Trump wanted to do infrastructure. Now Joe Biden's going to get it done. And if it includes things that uh, involve research and development, that's an investment in the future. It's creating jobs and it will help us to build better infrastructure and be more competitive. Lucas Tomlinson is now reporting that the Pentagon has approved HHS's request to house migrant children at Camp Roberts. This is about two hours drive north of Santa Barbara, California. If infrastructure is meant to go big and this isn't big enough, should this also include what's happening at the border? Should it go to beef up some of these facilities where these children don't fit, they can't stay more than 72 hours at a time and help with the resources that the Border Patrol is screaming that they need? Well, this government can do more than one thing at a time. So infrastructure is one issue. We did the recovery package and immigration is a challenge. The real crisis is in Central America, the, where the root causes of this immigration are. Uh, we need to help to deal with that kind of violence and those kind of economic problems. We need to redo our immigration system from stem to stern because it is broken, everybody agrees. But we do have a policy under this administration to treat children as humanely as possible, find better facilities for them, be sure that they aren't cramped and in cages and can eventually be relocated with 
with their parents. So yes, it's a challenge, but yes, we're working on it and open to suggestions. Don't just go down there and ride in an armored boat, come with something that might help solve the problem. Congresswoman Dina Titus, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it.